If the tide comes in, we will start to sink. It's like quicksand. I think it's supposed to rain again, and there is some tornado watches. It sunk. This is what happens in sand. Is it sinking? It's sinking, isn't it? You're slipping, yeah. See, what's happening is now you're sitting in water. Yeah, I know. Good morning, everyone. Aja here from Pandemonium. It is a cold, chilly day on the beach today and a bit breezy. But this feels amazing. Ooh, nice. I think the tide had come in last night and it's supposed to be high tide again at noon and look how close it is to us. I think it might have actually reached us because when I came out here, my table was knocked down. I put everything else up. This was the only thing that was left, but this is not down. And look, this is what I was trying to tell everybody is if the tide comes in, we will start to sink. It's like quicksand. Jeff's tires already have sunk down, so I think the water reached him. Or maybe it was from the rain because it rained for a long time last night. But I haven't really sunk, so I'm good. And Dave hasn't either. But we're both duallys, where Jeff only has single tires. So it's only 10 o'clock now, and like I said, high tide's supposed to be at noon. I kind of want to move, because we scoped out some stuff in Galveston last night. Let me actually show you that. Come to Galveston just to check a few things out and take a look-see, because we're going to be coming up here in several days. We already have our... Uh, reservation set for the state park but we wanted to just get a feel for the area I think Dave's already been here but I haven't I got bored I, I got bored <laughs> uh, you got camp. bored yeah and it was real windy and I thought let's uh I'm gonna take a ride up to Galveston and just have something to do look around and, right yeah we hey, come on. yeah we have had some kind of sucky weather oh, it's been up and down Beautiful, yeah then yeah, and one day it'll be not. gorgeous. Then not. Then not. <laughs> right. So. Oh, pretty. They have some very colorful <laughs> houses and then these big, like, condo units. Doesn't seem like a very busy beach, but you can pay to park along this side here. Look and, up here. And it doesn't <laughs> look like, oh yeah, all these colorful houses. I mean, not interrupt you a bit. Look at all the, look at all the color. Yeah. I love, I love that. That is beautiful. Beach. Reminds me of Charleston. They do that a lot there. But what I was saying is that you can pay here. We were just discussing. We wonder if you could pay for 24 hours and actually overnight here. But I'm sure if you could, there would be RVs here. Oh, there's a Walmart. Nice. <laughs> Sorry. Squirrel! Anyways, I, I don't know if you can or not. It, I'm sure if you could, there would be RVs here. Well, you could, we could, let's pay by phone, you know, we could, we could pull over and see, and, and like go to the text, uh, pay by, pay phone. by phone, yeah, we could do it and, and see, see the what the maximum hours are and what the rate so is. So it says paybyphone.com. Oh, look at that, um, kind of pier out there with the restaurant. Yeah, That's yeah. Cool. that is the restaurant. And then there's an amusement park up further. Oh, nice. the there's a tailway zone from um, 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. I have no parking Mon Monday through Sunday. Yeah. 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. Yeah. That rolls up. Yeah, it goes overnight. Yeah. Here. Okay. Well, so that's that. that. Okay. Let's move along then. Yeah, if it was like 10 or 15 bucks. Yeah. Right. That'd it's, be pretty cool. A lot of the, is this Walmart RV friendly? No, it is not. It is not, okay. I checked that this morning. Use the RV parking and you zoom in and yeah. you know, click on it and it says no big red letters. No. no not at this one. Don't even try it. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of Louisiana a little bit. This little sector through here. They have some really nice beaches that are not busy at all in Louisiana. I've never found any like free camping. I think someone made a comment about free camping, but I don't know where you would because I've never experienced it there. Yeah, it's definitely a very windy day today and you can see the ocean is very choppy. Ch-ch-ch-choppy. Oh, that's a coffee and cocktail. 
This is two weird things to put together. Coffee and cocktails. They have a little jetty that goes out there too. Nice. This one look open. We're down the coast a little ways and we're just out driving. We're gonna be coming up here in four or five, six, something like that. And we just thought, just for like one overnight, like in our travels on our way somewhere. We, we've, we've had people like, recently we've had people just sit there for like, it's been about a couple of weeks. Oh so wow, yeah. That that's period. abusing it, that's, yeah. Yeah, we don't stay that long. No, that's, that's, that's bad. Yeah, other than that, I say come on. Uh, yeah, thanks th man. Thank you so much. Yep. Why weren't I truck talking? Look at it, it's the drunken monkey. This reminds me of, uh, what's that, Louisiana town? Yeah. Oh, here's the other, other Mardi thing. Mardi Gras. Yeah, the other thing I forgot was, look, they have streetcar. Oh, yeah. Trolley tracks. Trolley. All through this part of town. Nice. So, yeah, this is a historic downtown. New Orleans is what I was thinking. Oh, look at this center with the Christmas tree. Christmas is over. You can take that down. <laughs> it's a new year already. It's kind of nice. Upper decks. <laughs> and a, wait, it's a headless Christmas tree. There's, there's no top to the Christmas tree. <laughs> oh wow, look at this huge statue. Uh huh. And just a patriotism that says up top. Yep. Nice. That's pretty cool. And she's pointing, which way is she pointing? Uh, east? Mm, it looks, yeah, I think we're facing south. Mm. Yeah, we're facing south, and she's pointing to the northeast. Oh, look at all the lights ahead. Is that an amusement park? It's called Pleasure Pier. <laughs> what? What a snicker, what's funny about that a funny name? I mean, name? come on. Is that a funny name? <laughs> yes. Pleasure Pier. Not only is it a pleasure pier, but it's a historic pleasure pier, so they've been having pleasure there for a long time. I guess. Generations of pleasure. I know. Uh, Bubba Gum. Bubba Gum Shrimp Company. Yeah, nice. I love to come here for lunch and dinner or something. Yeah, that'd be nice. And there's the Ferris wheel. It's lit up. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'd like to ride on that. Oh my god, it's the Magic Carpet Golf Course. It's a mini putt. I haven't played one of these since I was back in Myrtle Beach. We'll have to try that out. That'll be nice. Okay. Look how choppy that sea is. We stopped back by this pier just before we leave. But that's not why we stopped here. I saw these signs and it says beach access, free parking. And it doesn't say that there's no overnighting. There's no time limit, nothing. And behind us back there is actually an RV parking. Look at that grand hotel right there. Looks like a castle. Oh. Yeah, we have several more rigs still on the beach, but they're even closer to the dunes than we are. I think today would be a good day to leave. Wow, that ocean looks pretty angry. We still have two more days we still have two more days till our reservation at the park, but the good thing is, is that we talked to the guy at the Target, the security officer, and he said we could park there for a day or two, no problem. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and start packing up and getting everything pulled to the front. There's still people camping down here too. Yeah, look at the sand is getting pretty soft here. Ugh, mushy. I, I know, I'm kind of scared to move. I picked the worst day for this. Everything seems so mushy. Moon was excited though. Go. <laughs> get it, get it. Well, at least my rig got washed off because it was covered in sand. The windshield is still pretty dirty. <laughs> I don't know if the tide is going to make it this high. It could have been just because of the wind and the rain, but I'm still going to move my rig closer to the entrance over here. <laughs> Huh. I wonder if they put his mat down there or it actually floated down there. Hi. 
Yeah, the entrance is right here, so it's not that much further from where we were. Well, this is good right here. And I'll pull my truck up. I want to get too close to the dunes. I thought I would have sank more, but actually, it's not that bad. Grab the truck. See if Jeff needs any help. I think he's kind of digging out a little bit. Yeah, I told Jeff to not worry about digging it out too much because then he might expose some water and just make it softer. So. I'm going to drive his rig down there. Wow, your back end is actually... That's what's sunk so bad. Look how bad that sunk. And you know what it is? I think I don't even think the um, tide got this high. It was the rain. No, the rain the just came... Saturated. Right. The ground got saturated from the rain and it sunk. This is what happens in sand. We're switching drivers, Kellogg. We're switching drivers. <laughs> All right, his windows are a bit foggy, so we have to wait for these to clear up. Are you amused with the wipers and the blower? <laughs> Have you never experienced that before, Kellogg? I feel like it's all new to you. Leveling pads or anything put in the holes? Uh, no, we're just gonna try it first. If we have an issue, then we'll use them. Use mine. I pulled this lever here to engage drive, and it was your wipers. Oh, no, yeah, it's on. Oh yeah, it's over here. Where? Where? Um, I was like, it feels like the brakes are on. Is it sinking? It's sinking, isn't it? You're slipping, yeah. You want me to get the traction thingies? Yeah, get the traction thingies. This is what I wanted to see if it would actually make it, but we might have to use the traction things. The problem with these rigs here is their front wheel drive. Jimmy had the same issue and they're just heavy on the back. So the front is pulling all this weight and it doesn't make for a good situation sometimes, especially in sand. So I always suggest make sure your rig is a rear wheel drive. See, I had no issue. I just pulled right out. So you're trying to clear some of the sand from the tire because it feels like the brakes are on. It's like the sand is gripping the tire because the tire has sunk so low. You might even have to go on the inside too. Okay, he's got the traction support out. You want to put that underneath. Oh, dig out a little bit. It, it should, the tire should grab onto it and pull it under, hopefully. <laughs> Not bury it. So he's got it all cleared out and the traction pads on. Same with this side here. So the sand's not gripping. He does have a place for a tow strap, so I'm going to hook that up to my truck and give him a little help. I had to dig my tow strap out. Okay. So a guy with a much bigger truck than mine was nice enough to stop and he's going to try it with his truck first because I'm not sure if mine's strong enough to actually pull all that weight. Right, Momo? What do you think about this? It's just messy. Messy. Well, that was so nice of him, but yeah, he was pretty stuck. Good thing he had these traction mats. They ended up helping a little bit. Okay. Soft sand. Oh, you can tell where the water came in, so the tide did get this high. At least to his part, it seems a lot wetter than over here. I don't know if this is a little higher. Okay, well, at least he's out. That was nice of him. Yeah, the tide is starting to reach us again, and it's only 11 o'clock. Yeah, that water's getting awful close there. He's gonna go ahead and move his ring to the front. I'm actually gonna bring my truck over and grab this, because we don't need any extra weight on his rig. Go, 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 don't stop. Awesome. 
Yay, front wheel drive. All right, Mumu Kama. Good girl. Hold on. All right, go in. Good girl. Get all comfy. So we got everything of Jeff's up front, and he's getting everything packed up and hitched up. I just have to hook up my truck, and then we'll be ready to go. Looks like Dave made it out pretty easy. He made it before high tide. Got about 15 minutes. I don't think it's going to be getting that much higher, so it wouldn't have made it to us, but still. It's been fun. I just wanted to make sure everybody was getting out okay, so let's get on the road. Okay, everybody is out. It's time to go. Wow, yeah. Mud pit right there. Continue for 29 miles. Will do. As you heard, it's about 29 miles, so not too bad. All that rain, I think, might have flooded the road a little bit. It's a very long island here, so it does get flooded out. It's surrounded by water. roads yeah just a little bit of water on the roads <laughs> don't want to be flying through this in hydroplane right mama 